Hi guys, when we left off last time, we had just done 12 divided by four equals three on our um, area model or making our array. Uh, it's time for us to look at some of these other ones that I had asked you to do on your own. So when we uh, look at these, we're just gonna kind of do a little quick erasing of the one that I've put up and then work through the ones that we want to put on. <clears throat> okay, so let's look at our first one here. Our first one says eight divided by four. It means if I wanted to do eight rows, or sorry, if I wanted to use eight tiles and uh, divide them into four equal rows, I would have four coming down here. And then how far would I have to go across in order to make there be eight in the middle. So let's see, if I went to here, that would get me four of them, and another row, another one in each row, I should say, would get me to eight. As you can see that there is two in each row now, so eight divided by four would be two. Let's do 12 divided by two. Okay. So 12 divided by two means we're only gonna be going two rows down and how far across am I gonna to have to go till we add uh, enough rows to make it 12? So this is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, all right? We have 12 in the middle here and we have gone six across. So 12 divided by two would be six. All right, let's look at 20 divided by five. So now we have five rows here. One, two, three, four, five. And how far would we have to go across to get 20? So there's five, another row, or another in each row would give 10. Another in each row would give me 15. Another in each row would give me 20. So I have 20 in here, and I've got four rows across. So 20 divided by five is four. 18 divided by six. So this time we're gonna have six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many sixes do we have to go across to get our 18? Okay, our 18 here. So we've got uh, six here. If we put another one in each row, that would give us 12. And another one in each row would give us 18. That means we've gone three in each row to get our 18. So 18 divided by six is equal to three. Let's look at 21 divided by three. So it means we have three rows and we're trying to get to 21. All right, so as we work our way across on our rows, we'll see that there's three and six. Another one in each row would give us nine. Another one in each row would give us 12. Another, row in each, another one in each row gives us 15. Another row in each row gives us 18. And that should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. So that gives us 21 divided by three equals seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I made a mistake on my base array here, guys. It should actually be 10 by 10 to have the same as you guys have. That's all right, though. We got one question left. So 25 divided by five. So let's get five rows. That's one, two, three, four, five. And how far are we gonna have to go across to get 25? So five. Another five is 10, another five is 15, another five is 20, another five is 25. One, two, three, four, five. And look at that. 25 divided by five is five, right? One, two, three, four, five across. So five. Okay. Hopefully you were able to work your way through those questions and uh, we'll do a little bit more dividing later. Thanks guys.